Hi, Harley, what's new? Oh, hi, Fred. I have to do a project at school, but I don't know where to start. Maybe I can help. What's the project about? It's about citizenship. I'm supposed to give examples of how to be a good citizen for our reading rally at Veterans Memorial Elementary School, but I'm not sure what to say. That's great. Did you know I was in CAPS last year with Mr. Goff and Mrs. Your Eagle? I know lots about being a good citizen. I can give you some really good ideas. That would be great, Fred. Thank you. Where do you think we should start? Miss Mac said we should talk about things kids can do. I know when I grow up, I will be able to vote, but I cannot vote now. What else can I do to be a good citizen? Well, you can start by talking about true blue buddies. Helping other kids is definitely being a good citizen. When I was in fifth grade, I used to work with the autistic kids in Mrs. Smith's class. I help kids all the time. My little brother is in Mrs. Danko's class and he needs help to read. Yesterday I helped my friend pick up her books when she tripped and fell. Does that count? Yes it does, Carly. But the most important way we can help other kids is when we stop bully behavior. Mrs. Todoro says we should tell a grown-up right away when we see anyone getting bullied. A good citizen will always help. If helping kids makes you a good citizen, I bet helping grown-ups does too. I like to help Mrs. Karash clean the room and make sure the floor is spotless. Sometimes I even help Mr. Jim clean the lunch tables. I could talk about that. Hey, this is easier than I thought. Have you started your D.A.R.E. lessons yet? I learned a lot about being a good citizen by staying away from drugs and alcohol because it damages your lungs and brain. Good citizens always follow the rules and the laws. Like when I pay attention in class, do my work, keep my hands to myself and walk quietly through the hallway. That is another way I can be a good citizen. There's one last thing you have to tell the kids at the MES they have to take care of their community too. Do they still reduce, reuse and recycle at school? I think most kids still recycle and reuse empty water bottles. My friends Maddie and Jordan clean up the litter on the playground too. But some kids don't treat our school very well. I saw some vandalism on the playground and informed Mr. Earl. He helped Mr. Rob remove it from the slide. I think we were all being good citizens. Last year, we donated to lots of good causes. We collected pajamas, bottle caps, box tops, and soda tabs. I almost forgot, did your class adopt an animal from the World Wildlife Fund yet? We saved our loose change and we adopted a Mexican gray wolf to save from extinction last year. That sure did feel good. I didn't realize there were so many ways to be a good citizen, Fred. I can't wait to tell all the kids and teachers at VMES it is filled with some really great citizens. You are right, Harley. I hope everyone likes your presentation at the reading rally. Tell Miss Mac I said hello. See you soon. Bye.